So the second black in a row, okay, unpleasant. But once again, should probably survive somehow. Uh, let's play, I don't know, let's play b5 maybe. I think it's considered to be bad after um, e4, knight xc4, bishop takes b5, but I think Magnus has played it even in a probably in a classical game against someone very strong, like Arona maybe, so then it should probably do for a blitz game. Uh, should we play c5? Okay, let's try to play bishop d6. This may look a little strange, but actually it's a typical idea. So sometimes in a, in the London system, black plays this e6, bishop d6 with a pawn on d7. The point is that, uh, yeah, I don't know what's the point to be honest, but maybe there is some point. Yeah, 92. Now I guess we go knight c6, knight e7 to bring the knight closer. The problem is normally you get this position with the pawn on b6, and the, yeah, the pawn structure is way less, uh, way less vulnerable. And here I think why it will be c3, queen e2, a4, and uh, yeah, try to attack my queen side eventually. Yeah, he goes c3. And he goes e4, which I think is a uh, sort of inspiring for us. Let's try to play knight g6 first. Threatening knight f4 in some lines. And he goes e5, which allows many things. Knight f4 is one of them, for instance. Okay, let's go knight f4. It's not a big drama, just play uh, bishop f1, but still. I don't think you are too happy is why to play bishop d3 to f1 here. And otherwise, I think it's uh, sort of risky for him. Yeah, he does go bishop f1. So is there a fancy way to play this somehow? Um, yeah, maybe not really actually. All right, then I guess we just take and go knight h5 or even knight g8 maybe. 95 is also possible, of course, but then I don't like 94, which is still not the end of the world, obviously, but the knight is coming to d6, which I would prefer to avoid. Okay, let's go knight g8, actually. So it's a slow plan, but if it works, I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, if it works, it's very ambitious. So I want to play knight e7, queen c7, and attack, uh, yeah, attack e5 in all the lines. I also didn't have a really nice square, so knight f to d5 would allow knight e4, knight h5 uh, would be in a, yeah, you know, in a worry about my knight, some g3 or g4 could do there. And now I just go back and um, stack in e5. And I, uh, yeah, I managed to to avoid by blundering's knight, which is also very decent. All right, queen c7. So e5 is hanging, I think. Like, he can probably castle long now. 
But that's at least, uh, yeah, I mean, it's at least a sacrifice. I can take only five, knight takes c5, bishop takes h1. Looks scary, but um, I could do it. So he goes rook g1 because of that. Okay, let's just go knight e7, knight c6 maybe. Yeah, he goes h4, which I think he lost knight c6. And we finally managed to collect the pawn. All right, so can we, can we just take, we can also include b4 maybe, just for fun. And yeah, the problem is that there is no need to, to include before, but yeah, I want to do it for some reason. Okay, let's include before. Yeah, he goes knight c4. I expected him to, yeah, to go c4 actually. Knight c4 is probably even better. But then at least we get some, um, yeah, some potential for. Um, or some tactics, I would say. So we can take on c3, knight d6, king of fate, b takes c3, and then come up with something like knight takes c5. Which I guess doesn't work, but it could actually work with, a, with the king on s7. Okay, let's try this. So he just takes back. And d6, so now I guess we take on e5. Yeah, now we go check. Like at very least we can take on f3. Win a1 is also there. I don't know, let's just take, takes knight. And check. And I don't know, queen e7 maybe. That's a blunder. But it was really bad for white anyway. Okay, here's Ans. Thanks for the game. Uh, what else do we have? We actually have uh, stronger guys. Who want to play with an increment? So I realized after yeah after the previous time I realized I'll never I'll probably never play um, without increment here again. So 